It's me, Grunful Me. It's summer here in the garden, and on hot days like this, it seems that nothing much is happening. But that's because you don't know where to look. You see, garden fairies are very shy. If you want to find them, you have to get up early in the morning and be very quiet and still. Oddly small, the smallest of all the fairies in the garden is particularly shy. It was on a hot day like today that you may have spotted her looking for somewhere to bathe. There must be some water somewhere. Yoo-hoo! cried Prudel Targ. Follow me! In the garden was a child's paddling pool. Look! cried Prudel. I don't like the look of that thing climbing into it, said Oddly Small, seeing the garden hose. Is it a grass snake? I don't know, said Prudel Targ. But it's so hot it seems to have fallen asleep. I don't think it will notice us. So the two fairies went to take off their clothes. Now, not far from this little pool was a family of frogs keeping cool. Mother Frog was becoming anxious. With no water in the garden pond, she had to find somewhere else for her children to swim. Garboil was also trying to keep cool among his dark, damp tree roots. Ah, oh, how I hate this horrible heat! Prudel Targ and Oddly Small had a wonderful bathe in the paddling pool. Their laughter attracted the attention of Scaffolage. Summer's here! Jolly good! he cried, and set off in the direction of the paddling pool. As he was going through the garden, he met Mother Frog. Hello, Mrs. Frog, said Scaffolage. You seem a little anxious on this hot summer's day. I am, I am, replied the frog anxiously. You see, it's very hot and my little ones have nowhere to swim. I understand, but I think I have a solution. You do, said Mrs. Frog. There's a new pool up by the garden shed with some water in it. Oh, thank you, thank you, said Mrs. Frog, and she hopped off with her family. The sound of the frog family approaching startled Prudel Targ and Oddly Small. Oh, dears, said Mrs. Frog, how are we going to get up into the pool? Try jumping on that funny thing down there, cried Scaffolage, pointing to the little seesaw. The frogs jumped onto it, and they plopped into the pool. They had a wonderful time splashing about, but unfortunately when they had finished their swim, they couldn't get out. We must tell Scaffolage, cried Prudel Targ. Oh yes, cried Oddly Small. But Scaffolage had already seen the problem. Mm, I think I should wake up our friend the snake, he said. I'm sure I can persuade him to help. So the good Scaffolage followed the hose up towards the house. He reached the tap to which the hose was connected. Oh dear, he said. The poor thing seems to have stuck his head into something on the wall. Scaffolage decided to turn on the tap, hoping that this would somehow release the poor snake. Water began to pour out of the hose into the paddling pool. Unfortunately, Scaffolage was unable to turn off the hose. He had turned it full on and it had stuck. Soon, the pool was full and the frogs hopped out. Suddenly, the hose burst and began to spray water all over the garden. Garboil came out of his house. Hmm, this is more like it, he snapped. And that is what happened on that hot summer's day, when a family of garden frogs had a lovely swim and hopped away. <laughs>